So in this question, we're told that the number of white-winged cross bills in an area is represented by the formula C equals 550 times 1.08 to the power of t, where t represents the number of years. What we need to do is figure out which equation represents the number of white-winged cross bills in terms of the monthly rate of population growth. Well, of course, there are 12 months in a year, so what we would do is we would take the equation and take the time, which is in years, and oops, and divide it by 12. So it would be t over 12. Now, of course, that's not one of these four options. So what are we going to do? Well, let's actually kind of take a look at this power here. So 1.08 to the power of t over 12 is the same thing as 1.08 to the power of 1 over 12 to the power of t. So that's using our power of a power law. And so now we can actually calculate 1.08 to the power of 1 twelfth, and that gets us 1.00643. So now you can see where this new um, number is coming from. So at this point, you might instinctively be thinking, okay, well, option number one is the correct answer then. This would be simplified to, um, to become this. But the question is, which equation represents the number in terms of the monthly rate? So it should actually be the same equation, just rewritten. So um, option number two is actually the correct answer. And the reason being, if we took 1.00643 to the power of 12t, if you just calculated 1.00643 to the power of 12, you would revert back to 1.08. So you can see how um, this would actually give you the same original equation. And it, ha it should be the same. All we're doing is writing it in terms of the monthly rate instead of the yearly rate. So that would be it for this video, and thanks for visiting JD's Preparation.